Uh, hi, this is Kai Ka. Um, yeah. I just went Mount Kota Kinaba last, last week and this video is to document my feelings about the trip. Yeah. So anyway, um, it's actually a trekking trip and this is the first time in my life I have a trek. And uh, as you can tell, I'm never a sporty person. So it's quite a challenge for me. And I don't know, I, I, I and it was a five day, four night trip. And I really learned a lot during the trip. Mm. I make new friends, I try everything was every day was a challenge because I I know everything if every day I tried something new. For the first day, we trek from the Masilong gate to La Barata. and then the second day we did Via Murata. the third day we did water rock, white water rafting, only level 2 rock. fourth day we did island hopping and snorkeling. just thought I want to vlog about um, the trail. <laughs> actually what happened, okay, um, actually I don't know what's the point of this video but I just want to I want to try video logging for once. And um, anyway, so pretty before the track started, I was really quite nervous. Uh, I was very stressed out because this is the first time in my life I've ever tracked, and I feel so unprepared. It, I mean, we had I had people in my group who were quite experienced, but still, you know, that's just when it comes to packing my bag and everything, I was really very stressed out. You know, imagine being being stressed up over packing and and um there was so much preparation and stuff to buy um like top like your waterproof jacket your waterproof pants your gloves your special shoes tracking stick and everything so um uh it was quite stressful because I felt but I know I didn't really have anyone to lead me on, but oh, I, I managed to get past that. Anyway, okay, so uh, about the trekking, it, it's okay. What happened is we took the Masilao Trail, which is the longer. There's two trails. One is Masilao Trail, another is I can't remember Kim Bruno Kim what. Uh, we took the Masilao Trail, which is supposedly longer, eight kilometers, but it's more scenic and. The grounds are, I don't know, supposedly the track is easier. Then, uh, but <laughs> what happened was we walked too slowly. We started late. So by the time we reached Laban Rata, which is the midpoint of the, of the mountain, we are supposed to climb from the bottom to the starting point to the middle point, And then rest overnight. Next morning, 2 a.m., we are supposed to climb to the summit to watch the sun, to catch the sunrise. But what happened in our case is, we took eight hour, around 8 hours to climb, so we started at 9 plus, and we reached around 7, 7, 7.30. But it is way off the schedule, because we are scheduled to, to arrive around maybe later 6 plus, before the sunset. So, well, so it was really a big experience, because firstly, walking 8 hours continuously, and the tracking is so that means you're walking up slope and it's all rocks I mean there are wooden planks and all I mean comparatively the KK track was very urbanized you know there's steps for you created so you know where to step but still you're still standing on mud and, and stone so if you don't have the correct shoe you'll definitely sit and fall but I think we, we purchased a pretty good shoe so, so yeah and another money off the dream uh oh yeah anyway so we, it took eight hours it was very difficult i hate climbing stairs but and and the biggest problem why we took so long was because we started off in this very i don't know we started off with a pretty wrong attitude we we were there not to try we were there to, to be tourists we were there to be you know snapping pictures so we like walk 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 how do you want me to be there and then we were like, oh, what's the ball? Oh, plant! So it was... So it, 
Just so one it took eight hours. You know some people they actually reach in two hours. But still we had some slightly elder people in our group, so that was one of the smaller reasons. But the bigger reason was the attitude. Oh before that you know what happened along the way because we took a car out to the mountain. Then we started off at this certain specific place where there is a gate and we start there. So before that we had to take a, a bus up to the mountain and along the way, you know mountains being mountains, the trails is, you know, and then I had, I've always had very bad motion sickness condition in a way. And so halfway up in the middle of the hill or somewhere we had regret uh, short breakfast. And we had Maggie. Then after the after having our meal, our breakfast, we continued with the car trip to the gate. So what happened was as soon almost as soon as we reached the area, stop. I came up and I puked. And the first time in my life I ever puked because of motion sickness. I've always had this motion sickness condition, but I've always only you know had had headaches and stuff like that. I never really puke. And I puked the entire Maggie me out. You could, I could still see the knees, you know, because it's only been in my stomach for less than fifteen minutes. And everyone was so grossed up by me, so the entire trip, everyone was making a big joke out of it. And we were like, oh, you must be, ca and they were like, oh, special, taking special attention, uh, care. The, the eight-hour trail, we rested a lot. And I don't know anyone, any one of the any beginner trekkers like me if you ever plan to trek a mountain next time don't be distracted that's one thing I would say like what we did we were so distracted by the scenery by the waterfalls by, by, by everything so we, that's why we took too long to reach the top uh, so yeah don't be distracted oh yeah uh, so it was quite funny because along the way I was like stopping at every possible area and you, at least every time we stop I will be like or I'll be like doing something I'll be resting somewhere squatting whatever and everyone was laughing at me because they were like you can sleep anywhere and I'm, and I'm like yeah of course I have to conserve energy you know so yeah, yeah I thought it was very funny they thought it was funny the highlight of the trail, the 8 hour trail, was actually the last 2 kilometers. It was an 8 kilometer trail, <laughs> which it took 8 hours to cover. It's like 1 hour per kilometer. Which, yeah, we start back. But anyway, uh, the last 2 kilometers was the most difficult one because it was an entire upslope, I think. And it was very daunting, to be honest. It was the last. It was uh, yeah, it was raining at that last two, around the last two kilometers. And then when you're trying it's so horrible. Oh yeah, second tip for any first time trackers. Always buy a water rain coat, especially if you're going to places tropical mountains like KK I think. Yeah, you know a poncho rain coat it they cost this buck or two. Just buy it mm -hmm. seriously. You'll be praying to God when you have it and then uh, when it rains but anyway so yeah the last one it rained and it was very difficult it was a very daunting stage because the last two kilometers I was walking slightly ahead um, because when you're in a group and you're catching people tend to walk in different a different uh, even though you're in a group but some people can walk faster some are behind so you tend to walk Walk, uh, walk in your own pace. So what happened was, I was stranded alone, somewhat, and it was starting to get dark. And I mean dark, really, with no lamp post, and it was raining. So that that whole episode or whatever, you know, it, it felt really daunting. It was this point in my life. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> I should be resting at home, you know, I should be I should be doing something fun and being at being in an aircon room playing my game, watching my YouTube.